You don't have to participate in a competitive sport to be considered an athlete. An athlete is a person who consistently includes high levels of physical activity in their lives. People that do exercise at this higher level do have some extra nutritional needs beyond what we would argue is important for just everyone, like a whole foods diet and a diet that includes lots of plants. People that are more active typically need more energy, but honestly, that depends on whether we are trying to regulate energy balance. So someone that is trying to lose fat mass, maybe they don't actually change their energy intake when their uh, physical activity levels increase. However, especially if an athlete is more elite and competing in kind of high level events, they typically need a lot more energy, especially if they're training for, for hours a day. One of the way to kind of give a sense of how much extra energy that person needs is we might want to look at energy availability. We might want to look at someone's energy intake minus how many calories they burn from physical activity. So let's say their energy intake is 2000 calories a day and they're burning, they're, they're exercising for two hours a day and they're burning a thousand calories in that time. They only have a thousand extra calories left. That is not enough to do all the other things that person has to do. They have low energy availability and that can potentially negatively affect certain aspects of health. Okay, so something to consider. Remember that carbohydrates, glucose in particular, is one of the primary fuels for both aerobic and anaerobic activity. However, we don't store a lot of it on the body. Remember, we only store about a kilogram or two of glycogen on the body. So one of the priorities for an athlete is typically to maximize their glycogen stores. And the American College of Sports Medicine gives some recommendations with respect to our body weight as far as how many grams of carbohydrates to consume depending on how active we are. Protein intake is also recommended to be a bit higher in someone that's getting more physical activity. Um, and we'll see when we talk about what to eat after exercise that following exercise protein intake is especially important. So for athletes, protein intake recommendations usually increase to about 1.0, 1.2, 1.4 1 grams per kilogram body weight. We typically don't need to go up to two grams per kilogram body weight of protein. And especially beyond that, there doesn't seem to be any added benefits. This summarizes some of the main additional nutrient requirements for athletes. So we talked about carbs, we talked about protein. Oh shoot, I didn't write energy here. <laughs> That's another uh, requirement. Okay, it says nutrient requirements. So these are nutrients. What I didn't mention before is that athletes have a higher need for vitamin D and calcium for antioxidants because they're actually producing more free radicals the more exercise we're getting. And they definitely have a higher need for iron as well because their red blood cells need to be transporting so much more oxygen. Okay, so I have this picture here. I kind of divided it into two for animal people that eat animal products. You know, there's lots of good sources of iron. For people that consume plant products, we recommend getting plant products that are really high in iron and perhaps consuming them with sources of vitamin C to improve that iron absorption.